everybody. In this tutorial, I will show you how to connect in Lazarus Free Pascal Compiler or Lazarus FPC to an access database. Well, let's talk a little bit about Lazarus. If you've been migrating from Delphi to similar compiler, then the best choice you've got right now is Lazarus. Lazarus basically is the same program like Delphi that running under Pascal programming language. And if you wonder, Lazarus was created to be an alternative choice to Delphi user that have limitation budget to buy the program. Even you are free to use Lazarus because it is open source. And the best thing from Lazarus is, of course, the cross-platform ability. Lazarus can run on the Windows machine, OS X, and Linux. So let's get into the process. Before continue to Lazarus, firstly, I will show you my database. This access database was created by Access 2016. You probably get the same obstacle like I did. I will show you the obstacles and I will show you how to fix it later. Unlike Delphi with simplicity of ADO component, Lazarus just used ODBC component. In my opinion, ADO was far better and easiest to use because with ODBC, we need to do additional configuration. So for now, let's configure the ODBC first. You need to go to Start, Control Panel, then System and Security, and click on Administrative Tools. And then you will find ODBC Data Search. Depend on your processor architecture and your operating system version or type, is it 32 or 64 bit, you might get different result. I'm using 64 bit so I get two different ODBC, but I will use the 64 bit ODBC. Now open your ODBC by double click on it or right click and choose run as administrator. In this ODBC window, we will create a DSN file to use by Lazarus as a bridge to connect to the access database. Now navigate to system DSN tab. I've created a DSN file before, so I will remove it first. To remove the DSN file, just click on the file list and then click on remove button. Again okay, now let's click on add button to add a new DSN file. On the create new data source windows, you will be expected to choose the database driver because we need the command ODBC to look to an access library or driver. I mentioned that I got an obstacle before, so I can tell you that in my first trial, I can find the access driver on my Windows machine. Because Microsoft Access Database Driver found just MDB extension without a CCDB extension. So I figured it out if I have to install the driver or the runtime driver. Then I'm going to Google and I arrive to Microsoft website to download it. Here you can see on my screen one of it. I suggest you download all of the database runtime driver from version 2007, 2010, 2013, and 2016 if it served. Okay. After download the driver, install it up one by one. 
After installing the database driver, you may need to cancel and close the ODBC data source administrator window first to make a change on the list grid. Then open it again until you get these windows. So now click on the driver, then click on finish button. Now put name on the data source name, leave the description empty, then click on the select button. Now we need to point and locate the database we used. Make sure you know the path and if the path was right, then access database will appear on the left list box. So click on it. When you've done, Click on the OK button and to save the configuration, click on the OK button again. So this is my DSN file and now click on OK button again. And now let's open the Lazarus FPC. After Lazarus open, create a project, but I think Lazarus was created one for us. So now let's add some component. First, go to data control tab and add a DB grid to show the data on the form. Change the property to all bottom. Then go to data access tab and add a data search then go to sql db tab and add a odbc connection a sql transaction and a sql query the last go to standard tab and add a button. We've done adding the components. So let's configure it. Now click on the DB grid and then look at the property panel and click on data search. Okay, after that, click on the arrow button and choose data search one now click on the data search one look at the property panel and click on data set click the arrow button and then choose sql query one now click on the ODBC connection one and then look at the property panel again and type your database or ODBC name. I remember that my name was my ODBC files. Okay, so you need to put your database or your ODBC name. After that, um, Put your username, it's always admin, okay? And if your access database using password like I did, put the password on this. Okay, and then set the transaction to transaction one. And last, click on connected. If there's nothing wrong, uh, that's mean your Lazarus was successfully connected to the access database. But let's see if I change the password to the wrong one and check the connected again, there is error message appear. Okay, so I'll put back my password and check the connected again now move to the sql transaction one component 
and then make sure that the database is set to ODBC connection 1 and then go to SQL query 1 then set the database to ODBC connection 1 also and then scroll down make sure that the transaction is set to the SQL transaction 1 then uncheck the use primary key and put your SQL query to the SQL section I will show up all of the content of user table so my query is select out from T user I click on OK and the last I will check the active so if there's nothing error appear or warning appear and you can see on my screen that without running the Lazarus the data is showed on the DB grid well I think that's all for this video hope it helped you and see you on the next tutorial